Hi folks, we're going to do another set of homework problems, uh, chapter 17, 9 through 11, number 9, here goes. Tsunamis are fast-moving waves, often generated by underwater earthquakes. One tsunami is reported to have to have a wavelength of 750 kilometers and have traveled a distance of 3,700 kilometers in 5.3 hours. What was the speed of the wave in miles per hour? So part A, um, this is just a speed question. Speed, as you know from early in the chapter or early in the semester, was distance divided by time. So the distance traveled was 3,700 kilometers divided by a time of 5.3 hours. But our final answer, we're looking for this in miles per hour. So let's do a conversion. We have 3,700 kilometers. Kilo is times 10 to the third meters. And I'm going to convert. I'm going to get rid of meters, go to miles. I know there are 1609 meters in a mile. So I'm going to pick up my calculator. And if I take 3,700 divided by, oops, 3,700 to the third, I almost forgot that, 3,700 to the third divided by 1609, I end up with 2299.56. I'm going to round that off to 2,300 miles is the displacement or distance so 2,300 miles in 5.3 hours. So divide that out by 5.3, and I get approximately 434 miles per hour. That is the answer to part A. Part B, what is the frequency of the wave? Well, we have a frequency. Um, we know velocity is frequency times wavelength. Now, we now know the velocity of the wave. We know that from up here. That's the speed of my wave. So frequency is my unknown. The wavelength is reported to have a wavelength of 750 kilometers. So 750 kilometers, kilo is times 10 to the third, so 750 times 10 to the third meters. Um, before I can use this equation, that velocity that I have from up above, 434 miles per hour, I've got to take that beast and put it back into meters per second. So let's convert that right here, get rid of miles, go back to meters, 1609 meters in one mile. Get rid of hours, go back to seconds, 3600 seconds in an hour. And I'm going to grab my calculator and see what I get. So, la di da, 434 times 1609 equals, divided by 3600 equals, and I get a lot, um, no, Mary did something really, really bad. <laughs> Let me try that again. 434 uh, times 1609 to 1609 meters in a mile. Enter, okay, divided by 3600. And I got 194 meters per second as the velocity of this wave. That makes sense. Now I've got velocity. I have wavelength. I can solve for frequency. So my frequency is going to be, let's do some algebra. We're solving for frequency. Frequency is going to be velocity divided by wavelength. I'm going to divide both sides by wavelength. That's how I go from this equation to that one. So frequency is going to be my velocity, which is 194 meters per second, divided by my wavelength, 750 times 10 to the third meters. And so when I do that, divided by 750 to the third, I end up with 2.59 times 10 to the negative fourth hertz. Weird frequency, but that is what I get for frequency. And then part C, 
Part C, let's go back up here and read it so we're all on the same page together. What's the period of the wave? How long between wave crests? Period, as you know, is 1 divided by frequency. So if I take 1 over 2.59 times 10 to the negative fourth hertz, what am I going to get for period? So I'm going to take 1 divided by that, and I got 30866 on my calculator. Keep that in three sig figs. I'm going to get 300 and eight seven seconds between wave crests. That's going to be a long time. So that is my period. One more time, where did that unit come from? Um, this is going to be 1 divided by hertz, which is 1 over seconds. Invert and multiply seconds over 1. That's where seconds come from. That's the long one. Let's go to problem number 10. Number 10 says this. Um, whew, I'm sliding all over the place. The coldest recorded temperature on Earth occurred on July 21st, 1983 at Vostok, Russia. The mercury dropped to minus 128.6 Fahrenheit. What was the speed of sound on that day? Well, our velocity for speed of sound equation is 331 meters per second times the square root of temperature in degrees Celsius plus 273 to make it Kelvin divided by 273. Before we can do that, we have to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. So degrees Celsius is equal to 5 ninths times degrees Fahrenheit minus 32. So degrees Celsius will be 5 ninths minus 128.6 minus 32. Really cold is the answer. Um, or minus 89.2 degrees Celsius in Wisconsin. I guess we don't have it that bad. That goes up there. 331 meters per second times the square root of minus 89.2 plus 273 divided by 273. And remember order of operations. Add and subtract, then divide, then square root, then multiply. And I end up with a velocity of sound of 272 meters per second. Number 11. Number 11 says that we have a group of hikers shouting at a cliff. They hear an echo three seconds after emitting the sound. If the air temperature on that day is 22 degrees Celsius, how far away is the cliff? Well, if you're given an air temperature, you know you're going to have to find the velocity of sound. So let's just go ahead and do that right away. 331 meters per second times the square root of 22 degrees Celsius plus 273 to make it into Kelvin, divided by 273 to make it into Kelvin. And so when I plug that into the calculator, I get the velocity of sound on that date to be 344 meters per second. Now, we've got people who are shouting at a cliff. So you've got somebody standing over here, and they're going, ah, they're screaming at a cliff. The sound waves go some distance x. And then the sound comes back. Now, if they hear this three seconds, so the time of 3.0, what's called zero seconds, is the time for it to travel not just x, but return. The total distance is 2x. So it's traveled 2x is the distance. We know our velocity. Now we have a simple speed time distance problem. Um, we know velocity is dis distance or displacement over time. Sound, we can use the constant velocity equation because it's not accelerating. And we're going to solve for x. So x is going to be velocity times time. And we're going to plug the numbers in. So let's throw those numbers in. I'm going to have 2x is 344 meters per second divided by 3 seconds. And if I do this, x is going to be, when I do all the math, throw it into my calculator. Um, and let me actually do that so I'm not just making stuff up. Uh, ba, 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 divided by 3 and then divided by 
two, I get 516 meters is the distance to the cliff. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.